Hi friends, so today I'm going to be creating a Valentine's Day makeup inspired look featuring some Clinique makeup products. If you're interested in recreating this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So I went to my local Ulta and I picked up some Clinique goodies. So um, some of the items that I picked up is the Nude Pop Cheek Pop Blush by Clinique, the Sugared Maple Lipstick. I, I ended up picking up the High Impact Easy Liquid Liner, Eyeliner, and the All About Shadow Quad from Clinique. Um, in pink chocolate 06 eyeshadow quad. Um, all of this was inspired by one of my subscribers who requested this um, makeup look by Clinique, which is Michaela Michelle. She does luxury makeup and luxury items. Um, she does very she, interesting um, luxury items you should check her out she's really good at what she does so um yeah michaela michelle is her name and she's really great so i'm gonna start okay so i'm gonna start with my eyes today um so i'm gonna prime with the essence prime like a boss eyeshadow base and um i tried this one time before and i liked it I did say it was greasy, like oily, but then it dried down. So I'm only using a very little amount, like less than a pea size amount. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the shadows. They look so beautiful and the packaging is gorgeous. It's a beautiful packaging. So I'm gonna start with shade, um, with this light white shade. And I'm gonna apply it all over my eyelid. Then I'm gonna move on to this light brown shade and I'm gonna apply that on my crease.
And then I'm gonna apply the pink shade right here all over my eyelid. I zoomed you in closer so you can see me better. I felt like you were a little too far away. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dig into this shade, which is the darker brown shade. It's the last shade of the palette. And I'm gonna go into my outer V. I'm gonna go ahead and blend the shade out. So it just gave me like a soft brown shade at the end, at the edge of my eyes. Yeah, the eyeshadow is really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to use the dark brown shade and I'm gonna use it for my lower lash line. And smoke out the lash line.
so I'm excited to try this high impact easy liquid eyeliner and I have my shade in black. Looks like it has a nice pointy tip. And it's really nice. Well, I really like it. It's like leather velvet. really nice oh I really like it okay so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply my elf lash and roll mascara in black um, pitch black I love it it's a great mascara tried it last um, video that I posted and I fell in love with it gave me great curl and it really defines your lashes Thing that I've been trying to get my hands on, that I've been wanting to test out for a while now, and I finally got my hands on, is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. And I'm so excited to have it. Um, I found it at Target. I got the shade two. So I'm ready to test this out for you guys. And um, let's try it. Okay. So it has a doe foot applicator. And I'm just gonna pump out two pumps of it. I'm gonna need another pump. This looks like the right shade for me. This looks extra dewy. Looks really beautiful on the face. And it gives you that slight coverage. It's like sheer coverage, but I wouldn't mind going out like this. Running errands with a nice glow. Looks really pretty on the skin so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put on my infallible 
24-hour fresh wear by L'Oreal and I have it in the shade 411 and I'm gonna apply one pump with my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. So another product that is new to me, it is not new by any means, but it's new to me. It's the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I heard about this from the 10 products that um, the um, YouTuber that I watch, Sabrina's Beauty Scene, she had mentioned that she loves. So um, I figured I'd try this, so I'm excited to try this. So I got my shade in C4, and I'm so excited. So let me see here. Go ahead and open it for you guys. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit of concealer, like one dot under each eye Okay, so I like the concealer. So, um, I don't see it creasing under my eyes. Um, it is lightweight. The concealer is lightweight and, um, it's not drying, so that's good. It doesn't look like it's drying under my eyes. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go into the Revlon Photo Ready Blurring Powder and set my face with my e.l.f. powder brush.
Okay, I'm gonna go into my Revlon Skin Lights Prismatics Bronzer and I'm going to bronze my face with the Real Techniques 400 Blush Brush. And I'm gonna go into the Nude Pop blush, cheek blush. I'm so excited to get into this. I heard good things about this blush from a long time ago, so it's a pretty color too. Love the packaging. Very classy packaging. Okay. Oh, it's a beautiful color. Oh, it's beautiful. I definitely love the blush. Next, I'm gonna go into the Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter. And I have it in the shade Daybreak Glimmer. Next, I'm going to move on to the Maybelline Express Brow Eyebrow Pencil. And I have my shade in dark brown, black brown. Now I'm just gonna brush them out. Next, I'm gonna move on to the Sugared Maple Lipstick by Clinique. Comes in a beautiful packaging. And 
The lipstick looks gorgeous. It looks like a beautiful lipstick color. So let's apply it. And it has a moisturizing lip balm in, in the middle of it. So I'm excited to see whether or not it's moisturizing to the lips. So yeah, so it's a beautiful shade. Um, it is very moisturizing. And um, it is more of like a frosty shade. So if you don't like frosty lip colors, I would steer away from the shade Sugared Maple. But um, it is a very pretty color. Um, it's more of like a violet color. A plum color and um, well yeah um, I do like it so um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray my face with the revolution fix and glow spray to lock everything in and give me a dewy finish So I'm going to go over all the products that I purchased and I'm um, starting off with Clinique. So the first item that I'm going to go over is going to have to be the pink chocolate eyeshadow quad. Um, this eyeshadow quad gave me a beautiful sultry eye look that I love. Um, it definitely did a great job at achieving the Valentine's Day look that I was going for, which is like the pink chocolatey look. Um, so yes, definitely. I recommend if you're looking for like a natural looking, um, soft looking eye look, then I definitely recommend this eyeshadow quad. Um, they also have different eyeshadow quads that you can play with. So um, the sugared maple lipstick was beautiful. It gave me that Valentine's look too. And um, I love that it's very moisturizing. It's very um, pigmented and um, I don't know about the wear time because I didn't wear it that long but it was very nice on the lips. The High Impact Easy Liquid Eyeliner. I loved it. Michaela Michelle, thank you so much for recommending me this liquid eyeliner. It was very leather-like. It was like very nice on the, on the eyelids. Um, it was very easy to work with and it was it's definitely going to be like my go-to. Um, thank you so much for recommending it to me. And I love that it was so pigmented. So um, the Clinique blush, which is the nude pop blush, it was such a beautiful shade. I definitely love this color. Um, I am so excited to try other colors from their line because this blush was, it just blew me away with the color that this blush was. It's, it's just so pretty. It's a precious color. Um, there's other blush colors that just looked so precious also that I would be willing to try. The e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter is awesome. It is like um, such a glowy primer that you could use for your face. And then also um, the shade was beautiful, so I loved it. The Conceal and Define by Makeup Revolution concealer was really great. Thank you. Also, um, Sabrina's Beauty Scene for recommending it to me because um, you know, from your 10 um, best products that you recommended for your viewers, I definitely agree with you. This is definitely a really good concealer. Thank you, Sabrina's Beauty Scene, for recommending it. Yes, and that's all the products that I tried on today that are new to me. So if you like what you saw, and if you'd be interested in subscribing, then go ahead and subscribe. And I hope that you like, share any of my videos to any, any more of your friends that are interested in uh, my videos and have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Bye.